Hey everybody, my name is Sam. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, I'm a glow forge enthusiast, and I'm also back on my channel. I bet you thought I was gonna show up one time and disappear. Maybe I'm gonna show up two times and disappear. I have something very important to say, and that is stop ruining Scrabble boards. Also, I forgot, I don't trust myself that I turn on the audio. It's running. High quality production. By the way, say hi to Colin, he's the editor now of my channel, and we stand. Anyway, stop ruining Scrabble boards. I had the honor of helping out a friend who is an amazing photographer. So honestly, I feel like I got the better end of the deal. She did a uh, little help, took some photos for me. I made something on the glow board for her, which was a really simple sign that I saw had little Scrabble pieces. And then I realized she was only wanting me to make the base and she was gonna use the Scrabble board to make the other part. And then I realized that this is a craft that a lot of people do. And so, so many people out there just like, breaking apart pieces of Scrabble boards. And you guys, I'm really concerned as a lover of board games that this is happening. And so with a Glowforge, you don't have to do that. You can simply just make your own. And so I'm gonna take you through the process. This is a very, very easy craft. And the thing that's fun is like, she had this little like cute message, like Poppy, noun, someone who we love, our family. But you could be like, you could put someone's name and then you could just say all kinds of mean shit. I mean, that's how I show love. But I mean, you could take this in a more roasting direction. You could put someone's name and then just like say horrible shit about them under because that's how friends show affection. Um, obviously I have great relationships. <laughs> Hold on, my glasses are really dirty. Anyway, this is a super simple project. You can put it on any surface. You can put it on chipboard. You can put it on cardboard. You can put it on, you know, paper. Obviously you wanna consider what kind of frame you have. You know, if you're gonna buy a frame from like the dollar store, you wanna think about how much space there is. I would consider maybe buying your frame first so you know what's in there and you just take out the glass. You put the piece in there. Cut out your shapes for, am I a terrible YouTuber? I'm like, here's how to do the craft. Do it. Cut out the Scrabble pieces, engrave the board, hot glue them together. Here's the project. Look, if you came here for complicated projects that are for really smart people, then you came to the wrong place. And also if you struggle, struggle making these files, you can buy somebody else's on Etsy and I'll link them below where you can buy the SVG to cut out your own Scrabble boards. And then you can even just like make your own Scrabble boards, which isn't stealing. I actually don't know. I don't think you can sell them. Look, you didn't come here for legal advice, came here for crafts, don't ask me questions. Now you've upset my dog. Who's here? Hold on, no one else here. Molly, are you upset? <laughs> Look, you guys need to apologize. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so that's the craft. And again, if you ever wanna save on your glow forge, if you decide to buy one, save five, up to $500 using my code, Sam Can Do, or use the link that's in my description. If you wanna connect with me, I'm on Instagram. I respond to my DMs there very quickly. And sometimes the comments here, let me know if there's any things that you want me to show you or questions that you want me to ask. I'm excited to be back in the glow forge uh, community. And I hope you guys have a great day. Okay, goodbye.